morning. Today I'm going to talk about endometriosis, a very important condition in women. It seriously affects both the mental and the physical well-being of a woman. So it's very important to understand this condition. What is endometriosis? To understand endometriosis, the first thing we need to understand is what is endometrium. So I've drawn the uterus here. From the uterus comes the two tubes called the fallopian tubes, which I have drawn here. And end of the fallopian tube, this round thing, are the ovaries. Because of the hormones that the woman produces, basically produced by the ovary called the estrogen and the progesterone, the woman goes through the menstrual cycle. In the first part of the menstrual cycle, the lining inside the uterus, uterus has got three linings, outside lining, which I've drawn in blue, then there is a muscle which I've drawn in red all around the uterus and there is a lining on the inside which I've drawn in green lining the uterus. This lining, the green lining, is called the endometrium and that is the important lining to remember about endometriosis. So endometriosis is a condition which affects the endometrium which is the lining inside the uterus. Now the lining inside the uterus to be inside the uterus is normal and what happened during menstrual cycle that during the first phase second phase third phase of the menstrual cycle the lining inside which is the endometrium increases in size under the influence of the hormones which are mainly estrogens and progesterone when ovulation takes place then this lining breaks down and Bleeding happens from the breakdown of this lining and menstruation happens. The woman bleeds for five days and then the cycle restarts again. That The hormones go up again from the ovaries. The lining starts forming again, starts becoming bigger and bigger. And just before menstruation, the hormones reduce, the lining breaks down bleeding happens and then ovulation takes place. This cycle goes around every 28 days normally. Unfortunately, in some women, the lining inside the uterus is present not just inside the uterus, but in abnormal places. And one of the places it can be is inside the tube. You can see it over here. I have drawn a little bit inside the tube. It could be outside the tube as well. It could be in the ovary. I've drawn some in the, on the surface of the ovary. So this lining, the inside lining, which is the endometrium, should not be present outside the uterus. In this case, it's present in the tube or outside the tube, and it's present in the ovary or on the ovary. And in some cases, it's present in the lining of the tummy, outside the uterus and even further away from the uterus. Sometimes it can be present on the liver, around the liver, on the intestine, in the pelvis, etc. So it can vary from being very, very mild to quite severe. What causes endometriosis? There's several theories behind the causation of endometriosis. One of the theories is a woman gets retrograde menstruation, which means instead of bleeding outside, they bleed inside through the tubes where implantation of the endometrium takes place and that's how endometriosis develops. However, there are other theories that li endometrial lining can spread throughout the tummy from bloodstream or from lymphatics. Other theory is that it is genetic because in many patients, the condition may run in the family. Mother might have it, the daughter might have it, the grandchild might have it as well. So that is another theory. Another theory that it is an immune problem. However, Nobody is entirely sure why it happens. Most likely is there more than one cause of endometriosis. What are the symptoms of endometriosis? Mild endometriosis usually has no symptoms or very minor symptoms. However, when it becomes moderately bad or severe, then the symptoms are quite bad. A woman might have problems with pain, passing urine, Going to the toilet during menstruation is the main time when the pain happens because during menstruation, the lining of the uterus expands. As I said earlier, it becomes bigger. Similarly, if they have endometrium elsewhere, like in the tube or in the ovary or outside the tummy, all these linings under the influence of the hormones from the ovary, they will all expand at the same time. And 
when this bleeds they bleed as well and when they bleed it causes severe severe pain because this is an ongoing cycle going around every menstrual cycle if it's outside the uterus the endometriosis then it can cause scar tissue called adhesions and these adhesions can be quite stuck down between the uterus and the pelvic organs between the loops of the intestine between the liver and the gallbladder between the liver and the wall of the tummy etc depending on where endometriosis is present and all these things can cause lots of pain not just in the abdomen but also in the back in passing urine in doing a poo etc during intercourse and this can be a very very painful condition to have and it's not pain happening once in a while it pain which happens every few weeks whenever the menstruation takes place in severe condition the pain can be present 24/7 especially when scar tissue or the adhesions have taken place infertility is also part of this condition and women find it very hard to become pregnant and if they do become pregnant after treatment getting repeated pregnancies can be quite difficult treatment of endometriosis depends on the severity of the disease very mild endometriosis in which the patients get mild to moderate pain during menstrual cycles they only require painkillers moderate to severe endometriosis will also require not just painkillers but also hormone treatment these hormone treatment are aimed towards reducing the production of estrogens from the ovaries because estrogen is the hormone which increases the lining of the endometrium and hence increases the symptoms of endometriosis combined contraceptive pill implants under the skin or on the skin patch or intrauterine devices with slow releasing hormones can be given to the patient also hormone called gnrh which is gonadotropin releasing hormone can also be required severe endometriosis may even require surgery and the surgery includes keyhole removal of patches of endometriosis from wherever they are in the lining of the tummy in the pelvis on the liver etc severe endometriosis might even require removal of certain organs like a hysterectomy or removing the ovaries this is only done in patients who do not want to be pregnant in the future some most unfortunate patients might even require other organs to be removed which are badly affected with endometriosis and adhesions these organs may include parts of small intestine gall bladder etc endometriosis tends to burn out after menopause because the hormones are gone and the symptoms of endometriosis do improve the only symptom of endometriosis which does not improve after menopause are the adhesions because adhesions that are formed during endometriosis are irreversible and they will require surgical treatment if they are still causing lots of symptoms after menopause i hope you found this video informative if you did then please do remember to like and subscribe and until next time i see you soon take care